Hello, I'm Chris Fisher. We are reading Stanley in Space by Jeff Brown. We are at chapter eight. Stanley's got a good idea. As you remember, the planet has had a very major catastrophe. The brown goo got all over everything and they don't have any food or water. And they're trying to figure out how the planet is gonna eat for the next years. The teapot was cold now, and the last cookie crumb lay unwanted on the plate. Gloom hung like a dark cloud within the Star Scout. It's not fair, said Arthur for the third time. It's just not. Stop saying that, Stanley told him. That's four times now. Five, said Dr. Epp. General Epp, Epp tried to be cheerful. Ah, oh, well, still some tinned meat, eh? And plenty of grape fizzola. Much to be thankful for. I will never be thankful for grape fazola, said Mrs. Ott. It's just that, Arthur sighed. I mean, Earth has so much food, millions of people, and there's still mostly still, there's mostly still enough. The tyrant seemed amazed. Millions? You're joking, said President Ott. Ah, said Brother. Dreadful crush. I should think millions. Mrs. Lampchop smiled. With all our great nations, many millions, and still the numbers grow. Well, here too, President Ott shook his head. Youthful marriages, babies, one after another. But millions are population. Yet there's just Tyreville, of course. It's 683. 84, said Mrs. Ott. Mrs. X had a baby last night. Now it was the lamb chops who were amazed. Just Tyreville? cried Arthur. But Tyreville is your capital, you said. Well, it would be too. It would have to be, wouldn't it, dear, said Mrs. Ott. Stanley shook his head. On the whole planet, there's only 684 tyrants? Gosh, I'll bet. Wait. An idea had to come to him. Stanley had excited ideas, but none that excited him as this one did. Mrs. Ott, he shouted. How much do you weigh, Stanley, said Mrs. Lambchop. Mrs. Ott was not a fan of Actually, I've slimmed a bit. Though not sadly in the hips, I'm six ounces, young man. Why do you ask? The word rushed out of Stanley. Because if you're average, only children would be even lighter than all the tyrants put together would weigh. Let me figure it out. Less than 300 pounds, said Mrs. Mr. Lambchop, who was good at math. Though I don't see. Then he did see. Oh, good for you, Stanley. The lad's bright, you know, said General App. But what? General, said Mr. Lampchop, summon all the tyrants here to the Star Scout. Fetch what remains of your tin food and grape fazola. Perhaps Earth can be your home till Tyra is green again. And that is the end of chapter eight. That was a quick one.